In this problem, we're told that the assets and billions of dollars of the four wealthiest people in a particular country are 47, 33, 23, and 15. And we want to assume that samples of size n equals 2 are randomly selected with replacement from this population of four values. So we want to create 16 different possible samples. So since we're selecting with replacement, we can select the 47 twice, or the 47 and 33, or 33 and then 47. So we're going to find all the possible pairings and find the means of those possible samples. So I made a table here so that I can calculate those means. So what I'm doing off to the side is I'm going to start by saying I've got 47 plus 47 divide it by 2, and I get 47. So I put a 47 in my box here. So this isn't an addition table, it's a mean table. Kind of the same principle as an addition table. So we're just putting the mean for each pairing in its little slot. Alright, so then I add 47 and 33, and divide by 2, and I get 40, so I'll put that in my table. And so I'm going to go on and do this with all the pairs. So I'm going to do that. You don't want to see all that arithmetic in the video. So I'll go ahead and do that and be right back. Okay, so now I've got all of my values filled in, and each one individually has a 1 16th probability of occurring because there's 16 of them. But since we have some values showing up twice, for example, 40 here and here again, so this is going to be 1 16th, this is 1 16th, you add them together, you get 2 16ths, which is 1 8th. So when I fill in my probabilities, 47 has a 1 16th probability of happening. 40 has a 1 8th probability of happening. And I'll fill in the other probabilities. Okay, so now I have all of my probabilities filled into my chart. So that's part one of the problem. Next, they ask us for the mean of the population. And the population is the set of values 47, 33, 23, and 15. So if I add those together and divide by 4, I get 29.5. So the mean of the population is 29.5. Next, we want to find the mean of the sample means, and we can do this by putting the x-bar values into L1 of the calculator and the probabilities into L2. All right, so L1 is going to have the means, L2 has the probabilities, and then I'm going to use one variable statistics, L1 comma L2, or L1 as your list, if you have the wizard, and L2 as the frequency. And when you do that, you're going to wind up with a sample mean, or a mean of the sample means, which is also 29.5. So those are equal. So that finishes part B of the problem. And finally, in part C, it asks, do the sample means target the value of the population mean? In general, do sample means make good estimates of population means? Why or why not? So since the sample means target the population mean, in general, sample means do make good estimates of population means because the mean is an unbiased estimator. So since we know the mean is an unbiased estimator, this is going to be the answer whenever we're working with means. So that's the end of that problem.